Hello friends, there is a viral WhatsApp forward which is going on throughout, which tells that a Nobel laureate, uh, Dr. Luke Montagnier has told that only because of this COVID vaccines, the new new mutants are spreading all over the globe. The WhatsApp forward also tells another fact that due to the vaccines, there is something called antibody dependent enhancement and that antibody dependent enhancement will kill all the vaccinated people in another two years. So that is what the WhatsApp forward says. Is there any truth in this WhatsApp forward? What is the scientific facts behind this message that is spread throughout? So we will discuss in this video. Before going into the video, I have to share a few facts about uh, Dr. Luc Montagnier. He is a Nobel laureate. Uh, he has got his Nobel Prize for his uh, discovery of HIV virus or AIDS virus as we all know. So uh, there is no doubt he is a big shot. He has received Nobel Prize. Okay, but after receiving Nobel Prize, has all his statements are true and uh, they are non-controversial? Definitely not. Uh, previously, some 10 years back, around 2010, he published a paper telling that any if a DNA molecule is dissolved in water and if the DNA molecule is taken out or if it is too much diluted, the memory of the DNA molecule will remain in the water. That is what uh, the, he has told. So, to explain that, uh, see if you put an apple in a jug of water and if you remove the apple, so according to his theory, some uh, radiation or some memory of that apple will stay in that water and if you drink that water, the effect of apple or the taste of apple or whatever the benefits of apple will go into your body. So excellent logic. Actually if it is true, I will suggest to you everyone an excellent idea. Next time when your wife asks for some jewellery, just take her to a jewellery shop and uh, get a sample jewellery, a costly diamond likeness, just uh, uh, wear it in her neck and take a photo and then after taking the photo, just remove the jewellery. So according to the theory by Luke Montagnier, even after you remove the jewellery, the memory of the jewellery will stay alongside the neck. So it's an excellent thing. It will this, this idea will save you lakhs and lakhs of rupees. So we should hail Luke Montagnier. All the married people should hail Luke Montagnier as a genius because he has given us this excellent solution. But many scientists around the world were totally shocked based on his scientific paper and many scientists tried to replicate his findings in doing the same experiment again and again but none could actually replicate his findings. So mostly it is likely to be a false data or false paper. So he has given two statements. The first statement is that he has told that only because of this coronavirus vaccine, the variants are coming all over the world. So is it true? Before discussing scientifically, I will just tell one chronological data. Based on that, you will be able to decide whether the statement is correct or not. The UK variant that is B1.1.7 was initially found in November 2020, November 24 to be exact. And the Indian variants, the double mutant, uh, these variants B1.617.1 and 1.617.2 they were first found in December 2020. The P1 variant from Brazil was found in early January 2021. You also have to know another fact that all the vaccinations throughout the world was started only from 8th December 2020. And in India, as you all know, the vaccination started in January 15, 2021. So all the major variants which are causing problems throughout the world right now, were found at least a month or two months prior starting COVID vaccination program. So chronologically, if the variants were found long back and the vaccination program itself started only a month or two later, then which statement is true? So the only possibility that the variants were found after coronavirus vaccination is that probably the variants were formed in February or March and they took some time travel like in the English movies and they travelled back to November and uh, September and caused all the mutations and problems. So that is the only possibility here. Otherwise there is no logic in telling that uh, only because of the vaccinations the variants were found. Another thing is that whenever a virus mutates, that too particularly an RNA type of virus like coronavirus, whenever it multiplies, mutants are bound to occur. So it is not uh, some uh, vague thing or anything. Uh, almost 4000 types of variants or mutations have been found so far in the SARS-CoV-2 that is COVID-19 virus. We are naming only few variants because they cause some problems and they have peculiar characteristics. Otherwise more than 4000 mutants are found 
even from the starting from the February and the March 2020 variants have been continuously are being identified. So this statement that vaccines are causing mutations and vaccines are causing various variants to emerge is totally unscientific and wrong. The next statement he has made is due to some phenomenon called antibody dependent enhancement probably everyone who is vaccinated will die within a period of two years. So this is really shocking. But as I saw in the interview video, he has not uttered exactly this two years death this statement. He has told that antibody dependent enhancement may cause some problem. So what is this antibody dependent enhancement? So I will explain with the example of dengue fever. In dengue fever, there are four different types of strains. Then we one, two, three, four. And naturally in dengue fever, there is no vaccine. Please remember. So naturally, if a person the first time he has acquired a type 1 dengue infection and maybe after one or two years if he overcomes type 2 or type 3 dengue infection what happens is that due to the previously partial immunity to type 1 dengue virus the enhanced host immune response that is the whatever the antibodies whichever the body is producing they produce too much antibodies and it itself causes increased host immune response and altered host immune response and causes more damage to the body something like uh, uh, low BP then low platelets and all the problems which we see in dengue like dengue shock syndrome and dengue hemorrhagic fever and all that. So this is naturally seen in dengue infections even without vaccinations. It is not seen in all viruses only in particular group of viruses this antibody dependent enhancement phenomenon is seen. So what is true about SARS-CoV-2 or COVID uh, viruses? In COVID viruses or coronaviruses, antibody dependent enhancement has not yet been documented. Not only in COVID, even in the previous coronaviruses such as SARS and MERS, antibody dependent enhancement has not been noted. So it is highly unlikely that antibody enhancement uh, will occur in the future and it will cause major problems. And we should analyze the data also. So we have been actively vaccinating everyone from January including other countries like Israel and UK they have vaccinated majority of their population. They have robust data available. So according to their uh, Israel data what they have told is that they have compared the total number of infections in the past three months that is after vaccination program was started around uh, close to 2,30,000 infections were reported in the first three months. So what they have found is that they have compared the vaccinated and unvaccinated groups in the past three months and they have found that the infection rate in unvaccinated group is almost 40 times higher than in vaccinated groups. The death rate, hospitalization rate, severe infection rate, everything is almost 10 to 20 times higher than in vaccination group. So this is a robust data available from Israel. There is also similar data available in USA also. So all the data have told that vaccinated people fare very well and they have very less it is not like vaccinated people are 100 percent free from deaths and infection they are 30 to 40 times the infection rate and death rate and severe disease and hospitalization rates are lesser in vaccinated versus unvaccinated people if actually this antibody dependent enhancement this concept is true then probably all the vaccinated people would have died by now and most of the doctors and nurses that is us would have died by now. So this statement is totally observed. So I don't think antibody dependent enhancement exists for COVID virus. It is not that only the WhatsApp university people are thinking about antibody dependent enhancement. All the scientists who pioneered this vaccination program have already thought about this antibody dependent enhancement and by the data they have obtained from analyzing this uh, SARS virus and MERS virus that is the relatives of the current COVID-19 virus they have found that when we develop a vaccine against that spike protein the antibody dependent enhancement is not possible. So they have considered all this they are not idiots they have considered all this and that is why they have designed a vaccine mostly the COVID shield, Moderna, the mRNA vaccines of Pfizer mostly are targeting this spike protein only because they want to avoid any rarest chance of antibody dependent enhancement. Even in Covaxin, even though in, uh, the skilled vaccines can have antibody dependent enhancement phenomena, 
even they have considered the same concept and they have used some chemicals to inactivate some few parts and alter the TH1, TH2 immune response and they have made sure that antibody dependent enhancement is not possible in killed viruses that is killed vaccines also. So this theory or this possible theory was already thought over by all the scientists who are invented the vaccines and they have addressed the problems in the vaccines. So scientifically we have seen both the statements that is claimed by uh, Dr. Luke Montagnier seem to be false. So don't worry about it. So I will never advise anyone to vaccinate. So it is all based on your individual decision. So please think over the pros and cons and decide whether to vaccinate yourself against this COVID-19 infection or not. So thank you. We will discuss more and more useful things in the upcoming videos. Thanks for joining.